Hello everyone. My name is Abbas Ali Zaidi and welcome to Open Plan Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's segment, we are going to look at how to connect different rating flanges or flange fittings. Okay, so now let's zoom into the Open Plan Modeler window. Uh, now this uh, situation of different pressure class or ratings uh, can be very valid uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, maybe in pressure sustaining valves um, or where we need to have a different rating on each side or a different rating between a flange or, or a valve and also in maybe in some ductile iron cases where we typically have a higher uh, rating flange uh, but the uh, fittings and valves are of uh, lower uh, ratings. So uh, how, how do we do this open plant uh, uh, modeler? Mm, let me open up uh, project administrator and bring it on this screen. So and select the project that we are working with. So in open for open plant modeler, uh, we do have a certain configuration variables defined and they are also listed in uh, the user interface of uh, project administrator. Let me scroll down to uh, the, these two uh, variables which we call uh, match property map rating and match property map uh, one is defined for facing. So uh, this is the variable that we then utilize in our uh, joint definition in in the schemas so how this variable is used uh, let me also just open up the schema and quickly show you so this variable match opm match property map rating or facing is then called out uh, in the joint validation um, uh, function uh, for uh, this particular joint uh, uh, in so in this case this is a flange joint so what we're seeing is that uh, for a flange joint uh, we are doing a property match uh, both for facing and rating and they conform to this particular criteria that's uh, uh, defined in these uh, configuration variables and uh, so this configuration variable basically lists uh, uh, different pairs the, the pipe symbol uh, separates out the pair so we can see that um, the 150 and 125 pressure class are compatible with each other so if you uh, place 150 and 125 uh, it should be uh, it should it should be compatible similarly for 250 and 300 and and some other uh, rating that are defined here if you want to extend that add your own values uh, you, we, you can update the um, uh, this particular configuration variable in uh, if there's a UI available to keep on adding the list or you can modify the um, the configuration file and directly so let me show you how, how it works um, and uh, maybe zoom into a model here so we have a six inch pipe here let's change our spec to EX and place a flange so in this spec we have I've just copied uh, some sample flanges and uh, uh, we have 125, 250, 300, 600 uh, and some other flanges. So I'll just place uh, say um, CL150 flange. So with this CL50 flange let's try to place another flange and this time we will place a flange uh, 125. As you can see, we get fastener options for both the ratings, 125 and 150, and we, we can pick up uh, the one that we're interested in. Uh, you can also have just one uh, type of uh, one um, rating fasteners in your uh, specification, and then they will, those fasteners will be picked up. So uh, this way, 125 and 50 are joined. Let's just delete this one. Let's place another flange, uh, this time say, say 250. So when we try to place uh, this flange, it says components not compatible. The components from property don't match, which is the, uh, the rating. So let's update uh, our configuration variable and see how it, how it works. 
So let's just update it here. Great. With 150, I want to add that. CL250 is also compatible, whereas with CL300, I want to have 600 available. And now let's save. So now you can see we have CL150, CL125, pressure class 250, they are all compatible, whereas the 300 and 600 are now compatible. We can save our options and relaunch model. Zoom into the flange and let's try our flange placement now. So this was 150 pressure rating. And now we'll try to place Notice that this time the 250 rating flange got placed with the, with the valve. Similarly, let's try to place a 300 rating flange and so with the flange end we can see if our 600 So as you can see, the 600 flange is now connected with our 300 flange. So in this way, you can quickly change some of the joint matching criteria and get it to work uh, for your specific uh, design purposes. Uh, there is uh, also a detailed help on this topic in our help files. So if you open up uh, the help uh, for connectivity checker, um, in the joint connection configuration variable section uh, both of these uh, configuration variables are explained uh, in detail uh, with the uh, expected outcome and when you use it uh, in the um, flange joint uh, definition so I hope this was helpful I'll sign off now uh, thank you very much for watching this tech tip